What's up guys? It's me RJ. Welcome back to my channel. If you read that description, then you know today is a battle of the boxes. And if you're wondering, this lip that I have on is Wet n Wild Catsuit in the Rose shade, Rebel Rose. And that is my lip today. We're going to be unboxing Ipsy, Sephora, and Birchbox. Now next month, I will have a new box for you. We're going to skip Birchbox for a month and bring in something new. So make sure to check that out in March. But for right now, let's get into it. So the main reason why I like to do these three boxes together is they all cost $10 a month. Um, they're all beauty subscription boxes, although Birchbox is a little bit more hair care, skin care. Um, and they're all monthly subscriptions and they all have some sort of little bonus thing about them. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up is going to be start to say Ipsy is Sephora so this month because it is February they did this cute little satin bag and it says on the front there smitten which I think is super cute I like this bag so the theme this month is what is it the softer side so that is the theme that all of these products are supposed to fall into I will say I've seen because I've, unfortunately I don't get my Sephora box until the very end of the month I've had um, Ipsy and Birchbox for a couple weeks um, but I had to wait for Sephora to get here to do the video and so I've seen some spoiler videos and I'm hoping to get a specific item but who knows so I've seen some variations so let's just start off and we'll get the first thing out of the way that I don't really care about and that is the fragrance uh, so this month we got Prada candy and this is high quality ingredients uh, magnif oh, it says magnified by musk, so I already know I won't like it. Um, it comes together with a modern, ooh, caramel accord to give the fragrant and truly unique signature. Okay, so musk turned me off, but caramel <laughs> turned me on, so let's give it a spray and see. I don't think I have anything on, so. You know, actually, that's not bad. Um, it does, I can hear, or here, I can smell the hints of the caramel which would probably make me want to wear it. And the musk isn't too overpowering, so this might be um, one that I will try out again. So next up, we have Clinique Prep Start. So the Clinique Pep Start is a moisturizer, and I believe this can also be used as a primer as well. Um, I was trying to find something on here that's in English. Um, yeah, here it goes, because it says Hydro Blur Technology moisturizers while softening blurring imperfections. So to me, and that means it can be used as a primer. Um, so this is a good size. <clears throat> I think you can definitely get several uses out of it. So I'm excited to try that bad baby. Next up. Okay, so I'm going to say I'm a little bummed. I was really hoping to get the NARS um, liquid lipstick, um, but instead we got the Tarte one, um, which is still great. And this is in the shade Nude. And it's like a looks like more of a gloss balm just based on that round tip Let's see if we can swatch it so as you can see here it's definitely glossy and really light it's a very sheer color so this is one of those sheer colors that you can just throw on um, for just one of those very casual day looks um, I do like the shade uh, it's very light Probably about the same shade as my natural lip tint, so um, this will just give me a nice little gloss. So I will be wearing it. Next up, let's see what we have. Okay, another little tube. Okay, so this is the Origins Ginseng. It's a refreshing eye cream to brighten and de-puff. And I think I've gotten a small sample of this before from um, like a 100 point perk, and I do believe I liked it. So I will be using that again, so that's a good one. Let's see, that's three, so we got two more to go. Let's see, what's this one? All right, so we got a mascara, and this is from, oh, this is Sephora brand. It's called Lashcraft, and it's Length and Volume Mascara. And if I can get it open, there we go. Oh, it's a cute little tube. So, there's the mascara. Let's take a look at the wand. I like this brush. It's got really nice little bristles. It's not too big and not too small. So I definitely 
we'll be trying it out. Hopefully it does not make a huge mess. And of course that's just in black. And then lastly, we have, ooh, I'm excited for this. I wasn't sure if everybody was getting it. It's the Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss. This lip gloss is to pump up your lips. And from my understanding, it is super powerful. Uh, when you put it on, you are definitely gonna feel the tingle. It's not really, yeah, there's really no color at all. You can see it right there. It's just kind of a shiny spot on my hand. No real smell, um, but yes, I've heard it's pretty powerful, so I'm excited to try this. All right, so those were the five items in the Sephora bag. And let's check out Birch Ball. All right, so Birch, oh, that was loud. Birch Box's box this month is love themed. We've got the lip lip hearts I guess they are in the pretty uh, purples, pinks, and beige colors. So inside there's a little card and it says to you, lipstick is red, eyeshadow is blue, you are simply amazing, this is our love letter to you. Aw, how sweet Birch Fox. Alright, so don't know if there's a theme to this one, but let's just dig in. I'm going to try, actually I'm going to set the box right here. Alright, so first up is a duo. It is a shampoo and conditioner by number four. It's uh, Le Dimer Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. So there is the little bottle of shampoo and then a small sample of conditioner. I always wish for me they would flip these around. Even though I have like hardly any hair, I still use way more conditioner than I ever do uh, shampoo. Um, but I'm excited to try this. Anything that's hydrating always sounds like a good time. Next up, we have the Vasanti Brighten Up Face Rejuvenator. It's an exfoliating cleanser enriched with papaya, microcrystals, and aloe. There's that. Hopefully that's in focus. I don't know what's going on with my camera today. Um, yeah, it just looks like a just basic white cream. No real smell to it, so we will definitely give that a try. You can never have too much skincare. Next up is a little extra love from us to you, and it's a coupon to get $10 off my next $50 purchase, um, but it expires like tomorrow, so probably won't be using that. Next up, we have a mask. It's from BioRepublic. It's the Cucumber Breeze Soothing Fiber Mask, and there it is right here. I used to do a mask like every other day and I kind of slacked off, but I've gotten some masks lately, so it's time to get into it. Um, this one says it's dermatology tested, paraffin free, safe for all skin types, and it looks like it's infused with natural cucumber extract and vitamin E. So that sounds like a good one. We'll definitely give that a shot. And two more items. Let's see what we got. This next one is from Dr. Lip. It is a miracle balm for dry skin luscious lips and glossy bits. I don't know what glossy bits are, but uh, I'll try it on my lips. Let's see. So it looks like something that would just be like a lipstick, uh, chapstick type product. Squeeze a little bit out. Oh, it's very thick. Almost like um, a, a Vaseline. Doesn't really have any kind of smell. I thought, I don't know why, I thought it was going to be like cherry scented based on the peak pink container. Um, yeah, it's very thick. I probably shouldn't have put that on my hand. <laughs> All right. And last up is a lippy. This is by Mana Beauty Simplified or Mana Kadar. I think I have some eyeshadow from them. I'm not sure. And this is in the shade Rosette. It's a liquid lipstick. It looks like I like that shade. That's definitely in my range. Let's open it up. Normal doe foot applicator there. And let's swatch it. Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty color. So we've got a very pretty mauve shade here. This is right up my alley. Not sure if it dries down matte or not, so we'll check back on that in just a second. So that's the last item from Birch Box. I think it's a pretty good box this month. Let's open up Ipsy. So my Ipsy bag had 
uh, two things inside the actual packaging that were too big to sit inside the bag, but let's just talk about the bag first. It is a super cute denim bag with a neon orange piping. Um, it does have cute little lips, which kind of gives it a bit of a nod to Valentine's Day, but I think it would have been cute if this would have been pink or there would have been like a patch on here that said um, love you or lips or something like that. But, you know, who am I to tell Ipsy what to do? So let's start off with the two things that were too big to fit inside my cute little Ipsy bag, uh, and they are sheet masks. So last month I got two masks, and I rated them high on how much I would love to get them. So super excited that Ipsy listened and sent me more again this month. These are BioBell sheet masks. They are fiber masks, and there's two different kinds. So there's that one, and then this one. So the first one has almond oil and vitamin E. Uh, now this one has wild rose and vitamin C and it's supposed to enhance skin's natural glow. Is another kind of repeat, but not really. I received a brush last month and I love brushes. So again, gave that a really big thumbs up on the Ipsy survey and they sent me another one. So this is the Luxie 514 blush brush. It is definitely like a loose brush, synthetic, uh, the dark brown bristles into the white tip. Got the signature Luxie pink handle and the gold. I love their brushes. So now let's look and see what's inside the bag. First up is a Luna highlighter. Very cool. Besides masks and brushes, highlighters are my next favorite thing to receive. So this highlighter, ooh, it's a pretty color. See it there. And let's do a little swatchy swatch. It's very um, soft. There it is just on my finger with a few swirls around. And then let's put it on my hand. So this is kind of a silvery with a bit of a pink undertone. I think it may be a little too light for me, but I'm not sure. I'll give it a try, and if it doesn't work, I can always pass it on to a friend. So next up is a NYX Butter Lipstick. This is going to be in the shade Ripe Berry. And it is definitely a dark color. Not a shade I normally go for, but I feel like... I could rock it. It's not actually as dark as I thought, and it's a little sheer, so this might be a fun color. One last item in here. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. What is this? It says, what's up, beaches? So this is a matte bronzer, and it's got to be the second smallest sample I have ever seen. I think the only thing that you get that's smaller than this is the bomb little eyeshadows that look like they should be for a Barbie doll. I don't, I can't even get my finger in here to swatch it. It's way too tiny. What kind of brush am I going to be able to use? Oh, it's a very soft formula. May not be able to see it on me at all. Which I don't know what that means as far as a bronzer, but I tried to, I tried to swatch it right there. It just kind of looks like my hand is dirty. But there it is. It is a really soft formula. I feel like I would like it if I could get my brush into it. Um, I don't know if they have any darker shades. This just says matte bronzer. It doesn't have like a, a shade, but it's by Elizabeth Mott. So I may look into it because I like the way it feels. Um, if they have a, a darker shade and a slightly bigger container, I might actually try it out. Everything I got in my Ipsy bag. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we are finished. We have unbagged three pretty awesome beauty boxes this month. I do believe it may be a tie between Ipsy and Sephora. Um, anytime you give me sheet masks and a brush, I'm a pretty happy girl, so I was excited to see those. And then super excited for the Too Faced uh, Lip Injection Gloss. And while it wasn't NARS, the Tarte um, Lipstick in Nude looks pretty awesome as well. So both of those are pretty good. And I think that's why I continue to get those two boxes each month. They never disappoint. Uh, Birchbox was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't awesome. I do have to say, let me grab it. I am excited to try out uh, this lip 
So Birchbox wasn't totally bad this month either. But again, next month we'll be back still with Ipsy, um, still with Sephora, but a new box to unbag new bag to unbox, another beauty box that won't be birch box. Also, I have a B-Day giveaway going on. I'll stick a little card up here for you guys to click and watch that video. Um, it's very is easy to enter, plus there's like five or six ways to get bonus entries, so definitely check that out. It's running through March 13th, so you have plenty of time to enter, plenty of time to tell your friends and family. Um, as always, I had a great time making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, until next time, Bye, guys. I always want to say bye, bitches, but that seems rude, so bye, guys. Mm -hmm.